at some point, and hopefully with these new changes going on with the porting tools, if at some point every single game that has multiplayer uh, mode comes with crossplay, I mean, it doesn't matter how big the uh, how big or small the stated community is. Uh, people are going to uh, be buying those games because they're going to be able to play with their friends and other platforms. You know what I mean? Here's my issue with crossplay. Crossplay will make players not purchase a game on Stadia because they can simply play the uh, play with their friends on a different platform. This is why Sony doesn't like it. Yeah, but people complain about Sony not having crossplay, and I don't know other games. Are there any games on on, so on PlayStation that are crossplay? Because at some point, if every single console uh, or platform has crossplay, and Sony's the only one that doesn't have it. I'm, I guarantee you they're going to feel that that pressure. They might not care. I, th I don't think Nintendo cares, uh, but they have crossplay. You know what I mean? Because they're unique from um, the other platforms because of the portability. I wonder what happened. I wonder if uh, PlayStation is going to come up with another uh, PlayStation portable. You know what I mean? Uh, but it also hurts uh, Sony too, though, because that means that any games that get released on their platform... Uh, if it's a dud, if the game is a dud and has a multiplayer uh, system, then that game is not going to continue, you know what I mean? Uh, and then I guess that would be more like a developer issue, but it still hurts the platform itself, in my opinion, you know what I mean? Uh, they know crossplay has allowed players to not join the PlayStation because it goes both ways. So I think it goes both ways. For Stadia, crossplay helps it because more people are coming in, knowing that it's a small community, but they still be able to play with other people. But it could also hurt it because if they can play with people on Stadia and they have a PlayStation already, then why would they want to jump on, on Stadia? You see what I'm saying? So I think it's almost for PlayStation, it's almost like a negative um, because. Uh, you're you're keeping something from your users that everybody every other console is allowed to have. Does that make sense? If you if they look at crossplay as competition, then that means they don't have anything else to offer, which is not true, right? Every every console has their own little uh, highlights. So uh, crossplay is definitely needed on all platforms. I have played with PlayStation players on PUBG, uh, but yeah, I know it's old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think crossplay is great for the players, but it's bad to grow the platform. I, I'm gonna disagree with you on that, and and I think I think I just explained why. If I have an Xbox and you tell me it's a really cool game, once I find out it's on Xbox, I'll just buy it on Xbox. Yeah, but then okay, so now you're talking about exclusivity. If the game is only on Xbox, then uh, then the crossplay doesn't really matter, right? Sony wants to keep as much money for themselves. You're not going to convince somebody to spend $500 when they already have a $1,000 PC or a $500 Xbox just so they can play the same game with their friends. You know what I mean? Some people do. Some people can't afford that. And I I'm pretty sure that's a very small number. If you have a cool game on Stadia and you tell me about it and I have an Xbox and that game has crossplay, I'll just buy it on Xbox and still play with you. So, okay, that benefits Xbox. Think about it, right? Think about what you just said. All right. So if you have an Xbox and Stadia has the same game and your friend and your friend has a, a game on Stadia that you can buy on Xbox and and play with your uh, Stadia uh, the Stadia friend, it hurts Stadia, but it helps Xbox. So you can flip that exact same argument for Stadia players wanting to play with friends that have Xbox. So I don't think there's an argument there. I think it's it hurts on one side, but it helps the other side. Crossplay hurts every platform but it benefits the players uh it's not just a uh, stadia thing mm. okay so let's look at it this way if you ignore the fact that the platforms want the games to be successful and by allowing uh as many people on those games it'll make the experience for those uh gamers better if we ignore that part that the more people play in a game is more fun for others. You can, you know, lobbies are uh, faster to uh, for matchmaking. Uh, you may, you know, you can make friends across multiple platforms. If we ignore all that and just look look at the economics, okay, maybe maybe it'll hurt uh, the platforms because you can't you're not bringing in uh, Xbox players to PlayStation. But I think that's the whole point of ex exclusivity. The one game on the one platform help, helps. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you that if Sony didn't own the studios that make the exclusives for uh, PlayStation, 
those studios would not would not sign up for exclusivity you know what i mean that's why there's very limited games on stadia that exclude there are exclusive that's why there's a, a bunch that were uh you know first on stadia because uh, it benefits them in the beginning but at the long uh, at the on the long term it's gonna hurt them because the game can't leave that ecosystem it's the same reason why iphone started with at&t because the they, they would they would uh provide the infrastructure needed to make those iphones uh perform better and then once they fix all those issues or once they once it was established the infrastructure was established with the help of AT&T, then uh, iPhones can come out of it. You see what I'm saying? With that argument, you can say it hurts, uh, it hurts uh, consoles. But overall, if you look at everything, the total of everything, right? The only way you can bring people into your ecosystem is by providing something that is unique to the other ones. So I'm going to use iPhone again and i not I, yeah iphone i'm uh, apple is tricky with it man because i think i talked about this before but have you noticed that when you're if you have an iphone and somebody has an android when the messages come in the uh, messages are different colors blue and and uh, green I, I forget which one's which but one is uh, I, iphone and the other one is android and now kids young kids in schools and there's a documentary about this so you know i'm paraphrasing so if i get anything wrong just go, you know uh go check uh, go check me on it but there's kids that feel pressure because when their friend has an iphone and they're being like oh how come you oh you have a blue bubble or a green bubble or whatever so you must not have an iphone and because iphones are notorious for for be, uh seeming more expensive and higher quality which i don't understand why but uh then that Apple knows that that adds pressure to that person to be able to get uh, to it's for them to uh, pressure them to get an iPhone. That's how they get people into that eco ecosystem. The fact that the charging ports are different. That's how Apple keeps people in their ecosystem. The fact that certain things don't work unless, you know, you have an iMac or unless you have, you know, you see what I'm saying? Uh, because if you're saying cross platform hurts, the hurts the uh console makers sony or xbox then why does apple release itunes for windows you see what i'm saying there's a reason because the more people the better you know green is good blue is bad yeah exactly and they make it they they have the technology they can easily flip the switch to be able to use the same format is android or you know uh, because it's the most popular one actually but they don't do it because it knows uh, they, they want to stand out uh that's how it's with gaming like fortnite kids get pressure because they aren't playing with skins it's crazy uh, i think we're off topic now yeah i mean it's the same topic it's just a uh, different uh, uh because same topic right cross platform you know you get pressured into buying up another console because you want to play with your friends it's the same thing as tribe mentality. It's the same thing as religious introdu indoctrination. It's all about social influence. Yep. No, no Apple own I iTunes. No, no. Apple owns iTunes. That's the difference. Apple owns iTunes. Yeah. So, but why wouldn't they want to keep, they want people to buy. Okay. So, to think about that, right? So, Apple owns iTunes so they can easily keep it in just the imax but they choose to port it for pc because they want more people on it because more people makes makes them more money you see what i'm saying can you imagine if fortnite is only on uh playstation or only on pc or only on xbox how much money would they be losing from all the other players that are not doing any microtransactions or buying the battle pass. That's exactly, that's exactly what I'm saying. 